singing along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place or weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day. What is happening, house lovers, explorers, and animal lovers? As this video is a bit of a special episode, because I am going to show you guys the cool cats of Urbex that I have encountered while out filming and photographing the old homes around Adelaide. And these furry friends range from snoopy neighbours cats to strays, including some that I have rehomed and helped move on from their homes that were demolished. One of my own cats was indeed a rescue in an iconic twist of fate from my old address which has also been demolished and you will see how well that that little fluffy boy bonded with my other ginger boy. But the main star of this video is this little guy here who has a less social friend that does still manage to make a few appearances and they lost their abandoned homes to the wrecking ball. So I will add some commentary here and there as I go to help explain each situation along with showing the houses, as most of these homes I have actually not uploaded yet. Anyway, let's kick things off with this classic 70s Spanish mission style home that was in the suburb of Westlakes. My mate Michael and I took a look through this one in 2019, just before it was demolished. Where'd the cat go? And we bumped into a friendly little what? moggy from the house next door. Okay. Puss, 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 puss. So this little guy was a beautiful little light brown ginger moggy. Hey, puss, 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 puss. Puss, puss, puss. Hey, puss, 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 puss. Hey, puss, 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 puss. Come on. Come on, blue. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Whose home's this one? Not too much of an exchange here with the little guy, but I will show you guys this home as it was in near perfect condition apart from some missing carpet from memory. So let's take a look. What's happening guys? We are in a cool 70s home. This place is going to be bulldozed soon. So I'm going to show you through. Been getting some 60s homes lately so it's good to get a 70s one to keep the catalogue moving up through the decades so let's check it out. Yeah we um, thought we'll go and check this one and sure enough the back door's open. and it started to take the pavers from the driveway so there's been a small salvage, salvage effort started but everything is immaculate in here there's some carpets gone but that's about it they've also taken some lighting fixtures uh, Michael's in here somewhere too so taking photos so it's not a squatter if you see him. Right. Yeah, 70s homes, guys. Not my favourite, but we are going to document it because I want a good catalogue of um, all homes through the decades. So, but these cabinets are pretty cool.
And as you saw at the start, past that light post, there's a golf course at the back there. So this house had an awesome view and there's actually a vacant playground the other side. So this, this home is in a good spot. And you can see there they've started to take the pavers where they've taken most of them. And we'll go through into the kitchen first. Just spotless, immaculate. Where are you checking cupboards? Where? And this bathroom one, guys. And that's a skylight because there's no power. Oh, they've taken the sink. So they have taken some things, guys, but... This would be the dining room. That cool light there. Very 70s with those amber stained glass windows and the arches everywhere. This is another bedroom. Oh, there's the Fonz. Hey. Oh, whoops. So we'll keep moving down the hallway. See, look at all the cupboard spaces in the hall. Side entry there, nice door, and the laundry. So many cupboards. So much amber light, amber glass, and this would be the living room, front of the house. And check out the courtyard at the front. I'm not going to walk out there, guys. You get the gist of it. Okay, we've got the main bedroom at the front here. 
with the ensuite. I've taken the light and the ceiling fan, probably a pretty decent one. More cupboards. And this ensuite's pretty cool. shower what's that shower gel conditioner and shampoo dispenser and toilet number two there was another toilet in the hallway I remember seeing front door Right, we've pretty much covered the inside, guys. So, that's one really good 70s one we've got on film. Who knows, we'll get some more, so. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with the view of the golf course to wrap it up. Cheers for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Alright, so let's leave the suburb of Westlakes and we'll head east over to the prestigious suburb of St. Peter's where I got to this old bungalow during the selvage process unfortunately but as you can see at the door here we come across another snoopy little neighbours kitty cat who does come up and say hi there's a pussy cat as you can see here a beautiful friendly little feline yeah, push, push, push. You the neighbour, neighbour's cat are you? Beautiful. But it was just cruising around doing its cool cat thing. Now this classic old bungalow was actually in the same family for 99 years as it was built in 1922 and obviously just fell shy of 100 years when it was demolished. But I will show you a quick walk around the chaos of the selvage process. But don't worry, I did find some awesome real estate photos, which I will show now. So let's take a look. So we're in St. Peter's now, this old bungalow, been absolutely picked apart. Huge place. Now I did find an old newspaper, pretty tattered, 1929. It's in a really torn up condition. Well, some sections of it's really nice but I'm still going to take it and flick through to see what sort of articles. You can always scan the good parts and kind of keep the articles if they're interesting. But this place was adapted for aged care or assisted living with that ramp. This was an old uh, entirely separate living space that was added. Now I'm not going to give you the entire walkthrough guys, there's a whole heap of door trims and the uh, cupboards from inside this place. It's all been stacked down there ready to be demolished.
But it was a grand old bungalow. Got here too late for this one. So glad we got to see the home as it was, at least in the real estate photos, as it was a nice large family home. And maybe our little feline friend was just paying her final respects to the old place before it was gone for good. Good puss. You the neighbour. Neighbour's cat, are you? Beautiful. Okay guys, let's wind the clock back two years to October 2019 when I had to move out of this iconic old Art Deco block of units and I will be doing an entire separate video on this place and the three other homes that were all victims to the redevelopment that took place here. Now I lived here for 15 years guys and I reckon for nearly all of that time there were several proposals put forward for new development here and they all fell through but as I mentioned, two years ago, there was an approved one, which has allowed a big complex of offices to go up. Thus the reason I had to move out. And I lived in the bottom left corner one, as seen here. And this leads me to how I rescued two kittens from this place, one which became my own. So basically I was still coming past here to check for mail that was still being directed to this address and in late December of 2019, only a few months after I moved out, I pulled up in the driveway and I saw a young cat or a kitten peeping out from around the corner here. But when I got out of the car, it took off up the side of the building. So anyway, being a cat lover, I became concerned and went to look for it. And it was at this point, after looking in the windows, I realized that squatters had chosen my old unit to set up camp and make themselves at home. And I did kind of chuckle to myself and think, good for them, as I have bumped into squatters before, and we need not judge people until we know their story. And that's all I'll say on that. So anyway, it occurred to me that maybe the kitten is theirs. So I walked around the back to see if I could find it. And instead of seeing the same one, I came across an even smaller, fluffier kitten. And there was no sign of the other one. So this footage here is actually about a half an hour later as I went down to the supermarket and got some food and water as I could only see a few dry biscuits sitting on the ground and from what I could see I couldn't figure out if the squatters were actually staying here or coming and going randomly and I didn't know if these cats were being fed either way the cats needed some food and water the initial cat I saw from what I could tell was a fair bit larger than this little guy and my first thoughts perhaps was it was the mother Anyhow, I left all the food and water there with a note saying that if you need any help with these cats, feel free to give me a call and I did leave my number on the note. I was still concerned about their safety, so the following day, I was actually heading back across the border to Victoria for Christmas to see my mother and I thought I better just go past again and check on the cats before I leave. And just as I was going past, I actually saw a lady and a man sitting on the front of the veranda talking. So I thought, okay, well, they must be the squatters, and obviously they know about the cats. And I thought, well, they have the food, and they've got my number on the note, so I will just leave it be for now, I guess. And about an hour later, me and my ginger boy Nikolai, we head off across the border for a Christmas. Now, as you can see, Nikolai here has his car tent in the back seat, and he settles in pretty well once we get out on the open roads, and has no worries with the journey at all. And he loves it back at mum's when he actually does arrive. So eight days later, we actually returned from Christmas 
and there was actually pretty hot days within that week which had me concerned for the cats so as soon as I got back and, and unpacked things and got them inside I headed around to the old units and found that the place had been all boarded up and screwed shut. Immediately I knew that the owner must have discovered the squatters and just sealed the place up even with all of their things and beds still in there. But luckily and thankfully whoever boarded the place up realized that there were cats there and left a little gap for them as you can see here. And to my happiness I saw the little fluffy boy scoot out and come running up to me. He was not in distress but he was obviously hungry and thirsty and from this point on in time the little fluffy boy became mine as I decided to rescue him at least initially to ensure his safety as I had no idea if the squatters were even feeding them but there was still no sign of the other one so what I decided to do was leave food and water at the base of the gap on the boarding there and see if the food's gone tomorrow in which it was so at least I knew now I could slowly gain the trust of this other cat and rehome it also. Little Fluffy Boy came home with me and as you can see here, I sat him in the tent in the lounge room so he could have a nice big feed and also so Nikolai, my ginger boy, and he could suss each other out. And honestly, these two took to each other like a duck to water. Check it out guys. Seeing these two cats bond so well, and me also falling for this little fluffy boy, I decided to keep him and name him Noah. Now this leads me back to the other cat, which over the next five to six days of stopping off and leaving food in the same spot, the little girl finally came out to meet me and say hi. And indeed, she was actually larger than Noah, which I still could not figure out if she was a sister or the mother of Noah. Anyway, I will let these next few clips that I recorded paint the picture for this little girl's next journey. What you doing? Good puss. What's your name? You ever got a name? Me? Hey. Hello. You're beautiful, aren't you? Hey. Anyway, let's film the little cat, little female cat that's I found a new home for, and we're going to pick her up tomorrow and 
take it to a new owner. See, this is where they boarded up all the back porches after they've realized there were squatters in there. Here, yeah, push, 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 come on. And they realized, there you go. Hello, puss. What are you doing? Good girl. Got some food for you. I've got a new home for you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, this is where Noah came from as well. But when they boarded it up, they realized that the cats were in there and they left that little hole. Um, and as I said, this little girl was uh, too scared to actually come up to me where Noah, a little kitten, he came straight out. And because I couldn't see this little girl anywhere, I thought she might have moved on. So I took Noah with me and I've adopted Noah. As you saw in the um, footage, he's with Nikolai now, so we'll feed you now, and then you've got one more night here, and then we take you to your new home. How does that sound? You're a good girl, aren't you? Hey, you say hello to the camera. You say hello. You say hello to the guys on YouTube. Hey. Yeah, she took a while to um, gain trust. I mean, I've been feeding her for about two weeks, um, and for the first week and a bit I think she would hear me come here and leave the food and then obviously eat it because it was gone the next day I'd come over so she finally came out and let me started to pat her so I've got her trust now and um, oh good girl a female friend of mine has found an owner for her an elderly well not too not too elderly lady but she's an older lady who's willing to take her on so that's where she's going tomorrow afternoon what you doing Daisy this is your new home isn't it hey eh? so as you heard me mention guys I did find a new foster carer for this little girl who's now known as Daisy the foster carer was a good friend of mine and she was able to find a permanent home for Daisy in the country with a happy family who also loves pets and animals. I did decide to write this message on the boarding but there was no signs of the squatters attempting to return for their belongings or leaving food. So I do feel I made the best decision I could to ensure the safety and survival of these two kitty cats, who now both have happy homes. Okay, this next part of the video, we are revisiting three old villas that I previously explored around a year ago and they were all built around 1910. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can have a recap of what they were like. And for this part, I will pretty much let the video's narrative explain this whole journey. So let's go.
what's going on guys just stopping off again after work to feed the little cat Let's see if it's sitting around the corner hello puss there he is hello puss 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 come on food time what you doing puss Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Come on, puss. Not sure if you can see it through the gap there. Come on, puss. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Come on, puss, come on. What you doing, puss? Come on, puss. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Come on. Only young, I'm not sure if it's a stray or one of the neighbours' cats. Hello, puss. Come on. Come here. Good puss. Sleeping in. Looks like she'll be sleeping in the dog's house. Dog. Dog box. Probably one of the neighbour's cats just roaming around, having a snooze. Alright, I've got to go through there. Alright, so little puss has had a feed. Now he's quite content doing some grooming. Left a little bit, but I'm sure it will get back there and clean it up. And I'll leave some I'll leave some more biscuits before I go, but I'll be back tomorrow night. But yeah, this is the third night I've um, decided to stop off and feed it, and I thought, well, I'll just document it because I have come across a few cats in my urbex travels, and I might put together a cats of urbex video. And like, I don't think he's or she is malnourished to the point of starvation and cats are pretty resourceful and there's probably other neighbours that are probably giving it bits and pieces here and there but as these homes are going to be knocked over he will probably have to move on and I can't save all the cats but I can do what I can to help help them along the way. All right, I'll end it here. I'll be back tomorrow night, and I might continue the vlogs on this little little guy or girl. I haven't figured out if it's a guy or girl yet. All right, guys, stay tuned. We've put more fences up. But we will still go on and find little puss puss. Pouring down rain last night, lightning, thunder. But I'm sure little Puss Puss knows it's a safe area to sleep in. And here, Puss 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 Puss. Where are you, Puss? There you are. You're in your little spot. Come on. Come on. Food time. Food time, puss. Come on. It's 
So a couple of days later, we've set up Mr. Puss or Mrs. Puss's food and a little bed in the garage. It's all right, Puss. Come on. Come on. It was still sitting around the side in the sun though and there were some supplies in there. And I'll continue to stop off here after work and feed the little guy or girl. Okay guys, so yesterday and the day before, stopped off from work to feed the cats and there was another cat, a little Sylvester, Sylvester type looking one. And then last night there was a third cat. So we're gonna go in, I just finished work and pulled up out the front. We're gonna go in and I'm gonna see if I can get the other ones on video. So let's go. Yeah, yesterday I saw the third one just sitting down in there waiting and then he ran off. But our little usual mate, he was with another one. So I think they stay in the shed over the back there. That's where they came running from. I mean, these cat vlogs have turned into a bit of a uh, adventure. See? Here, puss, 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 puss. Come on, puss. Came out of that shed yesterday. Here, puss, 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 puss. I kind of had a suspicion there was more than one because I had been leaving more and more food and it was always gone. <clears throat> no doubt they will be in to have a feed. I'll have another look out here. Oh, there's, there they are. Come on, come on. Hello, puss. There's the little one's new friend. Come on, puss. It's all right. You know where the food is. Come on, puss. Come on, puss. This, this little one is quite comfortable coming in here with me. Come on. Come on. Come on, puss. Good puss. You know where the food is? Good puss. Yeah, I think the other, there it is. The other, the other one's obviously a bit wary of me.
We'll see where our little puss puss is. I reckon he'll be sitting just around the corner here. There he is. Hello, puss. You know what time it is, don't you? Food time. This will probably be your last dinner on this side of the fence. We'll have to move your food, I reckon, puss, won't we? So it's really been about two months now, guys. About, about eight weeks since I first started feeding him on a regular basis. Now this will probably be the last time he has a feed in this shed, I would think. So what I'm going to do is grab some of the biscuit um, tubs and the water tubs and I'll take them over into the other shed because I've seen him come out of that shed before and, and if that shed's still there tomorrow well that's where I'll feed him tomorrow there they are these two pretty cats They'll be thinking, what's happened to our house? But uh, look, that's where the little guy used to sit there, as we saw yesterday. I've got a plastic bag hanging on my arm with food in it. Well, they didn't knock as much down as I thought. Hello, puss. There you are. Where's your mate gone? You just want some food, don't you? Hello, puss. Yeah, after all this time feeding it, it never really wanted to get too close to me, so it's a true stray. You know, strays are happy to be strays. I mean, your instinct is you want to um, always try and rehome a stray, or but you got to remember that that's how they that's how they've survived. But in saying that, I'm still gonna. Um, feed these guys, keep feeding him, and wait and see what they do with this house and the next one, how soon they get knocked over. But come on puss, come on we'll go and see how your food's going. Oops. Come on puss, come on. Come on. Your food's in here. Oh, I'm stuck on the fence. Oh, there we go. Come on puss. <laughs> Get him jumping through the grass. Come on, puss. We're going. Come on. Come on, puss. Come on. Look at you down there, little puss. I can see you. Come on. Go and have something to eat. Come on, puss. Looks like they've touched some of it, but they did have a plate full in the other shed, so with me not being able to continue feeding in that shed, I dare say they will tuck into what I put in here tonight. All right.
Well guys, it has gone. This is the next day. The shed's still standing. Look at little puss here. You know it's food time, don't you puss? Come on. Come on, you want me to leave first. Got to get a photo of that. Oh, I don't need to hang around, puss. You know where your food is. We'll swing by tomorrow. See you, little puss. What's going on, guys? So, today is the day that they destroyed little, little Puss's shed. I think they've only non, not long finished up. They've taken out all the trees and bushes alongside of that house. And uh, totally cleared out the shed area. I can see puss over there. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. There's one out way over there. I haven't got my real good zoom camera, but poor little thing still over where the shed was. So we'll go over and there's puss. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. There he is. So there's two. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Come on, puss. There he is. The other one over there kind of scurried away. It's the one that's really not familiar with me. All right, this is the makeshift food for tonight. There's his water, biscuits, and his wet food. Now his mate has gone over in there somewhere. All right, puss, dinner time. We'll see what happens tomorrow, see what's left of these buildings. Second home nearly fully gone. All right, well, he's really tucking into the food and I'm sure his mate will be along shortly. So I'll leave it for another day, guys, and come back tomorrow. All right, guys, back again the next day. So I've actually just got off the phone to, there's our little friend straight through there. But anyway, as I was saying, I just got off the phone to a few of the rescue shelters and adoption agencies. Um, so we may be in luck in finding these cats a shelter 
Um, I'm getting a call from a lady soon about uh, these two and what we can do with them. A lot of the uh, shelters are full though, so I got bounced around from, um, uh, I, got, I got passed on a, a lot of numbers to call, which was good, but it also shows that uh, a lot of the agencies are full up. Looks like, I got a, looks like I got a mate following me. I think he's just having a look around. But we'll go and see our little mate. Here, puss, 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 puss. Come on. What you doing, puss? And hopefully we can uh, work out the best thing for these cats. I have spoken to a few of the neighbours. Actually, once I got out the gate last night, I bumped into two of the older neighbours. One actually lives over the back there, and I uh, made them aware of the cats, and they were very um, cooperative and appreciative that I had been watching out for them, so they know to keep an eye out for them as well if they see them. All homes gone, guys. We've started the clean up. And guess who's here still? Little Puss Puss. Came out, came out of those dead branches. All the, the leftover of the bushes that have been knocked over. So really, kind of unsure weather. They have another spot at night and they just come back here in the afternoon where the food is or I don't know, but he came out of those, well, the branches and debris on the ground. Check it out guys, just as I stopped recording, I saw a little cat run across the road, there he is. He's heading over to the food. You're watching your gold crop, there he is. I mean, the, the birds are probably pecking at the biscuits and who knows, but... I reckon that's our little mate at the base of the tree there. I think he's sitting there waiting. It's 
hard to see the camera uh, screen, but I think it is him. Yep, I can see his head moving around, so we'll go over and uh, leave some more food for him. He's come up, come up closer than usual, so definitely looking for his food. Come on, puss. Come on, puss. Pick up these cans. There you go, puss. So guys, this part of the video turned into a bit of a mini documentary for this little guy and his shy mate. But I can say at the time of this video, when it was uploaded, both of these cats are alive and well. They are being fed by a lady named Carol, who I spoke to, and she lives over in these units here. And during the day, they do stay over the road behind the church. And they are known to the occupants of the units over there also. Yes, these cats are still considered street cats, and I have left myself wide open for judgment on whether I could have done more for them, but the options presented to me via the shelters were not that great. As with adult cats, there is no certainty that they can be taken in when the shelter's at full capacity, and then there is the possibility of them being euthanized if they are taken in. The block is still vacant and I drive past here every day for work and I will keep track of these kitties to the best of my ability and I guess a home elsewhere for them in the future is never out of the question. But for now, I am glad that I was able to help them be more communal and make it through losing their old homes. Anyway, this leads me to the next feline who was part of a colony at this old hostel that I explored also nearly a year ago. One of the ladies from the shelters that I spoke to knew this place as she recognised the close proximity of the address that I gave her for the previous kitties. She was able to tell me that some of the cats were moved on and some unfortunately had to be put to sleep. I fear this little guy may have been one of them as he sure looks like he has seen a war or two. Apparently a few dedicated people were actually feeding this colony for a long time every day. So I guess there is every possibility that the previous two cats migrated over the road to the other abandoned homes from here. Okay, next up is this old white guy who from what the neighbour told us, myself and Michael who was with me that day, he told us that the previous occupant sold up and could not take the cat with them, but had an agreement with the back neighbour that he would take on the cat. Clearly the cat still likes to hang out where his home was. Food was left behind, but apparently the back neighbour has other cats and feeds them all together anyway. Anyway, let's take a walk through this little home. What's up guys? Just checked another house that's due to be demo and it's open. So again, quick walk through to show you guys what's left. Well, everything's left basically. So, it's quite a small home, but let's take a look. Blue there.
straight into the kitchen. There's cat food there. And there's cat biscuits in those tins, so maybe it is for the cat that's outside, but that cat was sort of asleep in the grass when we got here. And it didn't run away, so maybe I don't know, maybe someone feeds it, who knows? But this place is empty, no one's living here. That's the living room. Saloon doors. Front door. That's back into the living room. Now we've got the bedrooms and bathrooms. The linen closet there. Tiny little bathroom, check it out. Hmm. They haven't really utilised that space, have they? Showers in the bath. Okay. One bedroom. Pretty small. Two bedrooms. It's got the sliding doors to outside. Uh, maybe this was the kids' bedroom. See if that little see if little puss is out there. Yeah. Still out there sitting in the grass. Perhaps it's the neighbour's cat. And this one's got the cool cabinets. And look, nature finds a way. front guys so yeah I reckon this place will be gone in a few weeks definitely well guys that pretty much does it for this special episode and I'm sure I will bump into and discover more cats along the way like in this photo right here So with that said guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, I will move on to the next explore and I'll see you there. Alright guys, cheers, bye.